taking my gin samples in a, in a hip flask up to our local pub, the landlord actually gave us our first order. All of his staff and friends and customers on a Sunday evening were doing regular tastings. He said, Ian, if you bottle that recipe, I'll put it on the bar. So we got our licenses and then did an official bottling under bond. And then we started selling 15 bottles a week, which is not very much. And that is, of course, when, when the real challenge starts. So I was out of a job in 2006, 2007. I used to work in financial services. I didn't necessarily think I would manage to commercialize it, but I always liked gin and playing around with uh, distillation. I thought, why not try some gin recipes? Almost like the job of a chef, I'd say. You're assembling a, a sauce or a gravy, or you're mixing complementary flavors without one being too dominant except where you want it. The majority of new products I will develop myself, then I'll let people around taste them, and then I'll take them to various shops and stores in the prototype form. At some stage, you maybe will take the risk and bottle 24 bottles and actually put it on the market as a, in a prototype form. And if that's successful, then you might get proper labels printed up and go for 1,200 bottles. You travel to bars and restaurants, not just in the UK, but Belgium, United States, Denmark, we have importers, friends in the business. So from that 15 bottles a week, we export to 17 countries and we do more like 120 bottles a day, something like that. We have a couple of people working for us. The kind of thing you think, oh, crikey, I'm, I'm, I'm distilling, I mean, it's, it's kind of quite relaxing. Surely I should be doing some work. Oh, this is my work. That's a nice thing.